Welcome to another ESOL video. Today we're going to show you how to set up a TV cabinet, whatever we have here. Uh, my name is Jimmy. My name is Pratesh. Alright, so we'll get started. Uh, so this is what you get into the package. So you will be getting one or uh, three middle, middle size of the poles which contains three leads, three bigger size of the poles which contains six leads and two, three of the smallest size which has the vessels and stuff. So, and you will be getting three rods and three tables as well. So today we're going to start with upside down. As you can see. So this is the top portion. So we're going to do upside down. So this is the base, we can say, on top. We just put the rod into the holes as you will see it already. It's a screw one. the base. Just a screw. Pretty easy to get in, and they just stand there. Just have to screw it. So from the beginning, you just have to take the middle size, which will be the first, the middle size. And you just clip these in. Oh, yep. That. And just remember, it has only one lead. It already has the another lead onto the base. Straight in. Just straight in. You don't need to screw it in. With That's that. all you got to do. Just, just put it in. in. All right, and now the second base. You just put it in. This is the second base. Now, as I said before, this is the higher one is the middle portion. Has two two bits to click in. Two plates. Yeah, like that. Just slide it in. Same with the other two. Two different. That's level two complete. Uh, now we're so going to put, put the last base on top. That's it. Okay. Now, this is the third part, which is the smallest one and the tricky one. Alright. In this one, you just have one base, like this, the smallest base, and on top of it, you have to go this one, which is upside down, you have to put upside down, and then the black plate, which should go on top of this, and you will be having a vessel and a screw, vessel and a screw, which should go a vessel first, obviously, when you put it in here, and should go vessel, and then screw and just tighten this up a little bit. And then you can use this uh, little thing here to tighten it up completely, but not too tight because you don't want to mark the uh, bottom. And same with other two. And as Jimmy said, do not tie much. You don't want to mess with your table. Alright. So this is basically, basically your table upside down. <laughs> now we're going to turn it around. And there you have it. That's your table, fully complete. Thank you for uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.